Hello, my sweet darlings. Welcome to this session, this message. This is about the meaning of some words. I talked about, like in the previous video, I talked about how many devils there are and demons. Now, I need not explain to you the meaning of the word demon nowadays. You all know what that refers to. But this word has a history that it's very similar to many other things that have been manipulated into other meanings. Thing is that in antiquity, there was a word in ancient Greece, daimon. I'm not pronouncing it as per English. If you see the letters of that word and you would want to pronounce them in English, they would sound differently, but I am pronouncing them as per Greek, as how they were pronounced at that time. And from that word, the nowadays word demon comes. The word diamond refers to a spirit. And there were two categories of spirits. Eudaimon, meaning a good, a benevolent spirit. And kakodaimon, meaning a malevolent spirit. Now, with the passing of ages, and once, you know, once the church had political power and all of that, they manipulated a lot of knowledge, this included, and they made it in such a way that this word, which at a certain time in history was only ref was referring to spirits, just spirits. And if you wanted to refer to malevolent or benevolent, you would add those eu or kako previous to the word daimon. They manipulated all knowledge that the word diamond and later on demon came to be associated only with malevolent entities. And do you know that song from Rihanna, Diamonds? There she sings shine bright like she doesn't even say bright, she says bright, like a diamond. She doesn't say diamond, even though the title of the song is Diamonds. She says diamond. Now you understand what she actually referred to. Shine bright like a diamond, like a demon. So, this is not such a world-changing type of information, but it is good to know, to understand how much of, how, how many things have been manipulated, how much of human knowledge has been turned and, and twisted in such ways that humans would only use certain words with negative connotations. And this does not apply to this world, this word only. It's a lot. The whole language, and when I say language, I mean language of, of, of all languages. Like, all human language nowadays is turned in that way that humans would without even knowing it, use certain phrases, certain words to their detriment. Like, you know, limiting beliefs, such as you can't have your cake and eat it too, I'm only human, as if being human is supposed to put you in some kind of limitation, and as if being human is supposed to excuse any kind of bad behavior or stuff like that. I don't know, there are many. There are a lot. 
And these are just examples of phrases, but there are also many, many words, many things in human languages that have been turned in such ways that humans use them, as I said, to their own detriment without even knowing it. So this is a call to pay attention to, to your language. And when I say pay attention to your language, I don't mean swear words. I mean literally every, every word. Do you know the history of that word? Do you actually know what that word means? The origin of that word. I promise you, when you check out the origin of many, many words, you'll be surprised. I love you. Keep shining and not like a diamond. Like you. Like who you are.